and today we got to play... Papa Piolo. That's how you pronounce that. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, that's how I pronounce it. <laughs> Paolo? Paolo. Paolo? Papa Paolo? Maybe. I don't know. It's about pizza. <laughs> so I like pizza and I like board games, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like pizza. Or board games. Or board games. Or both. Or both. Hey, in fact, tell us what your favorite pizza is down below. And board game. We already we did that before. Okay. Just pizza. <laughs> we don't want to know what your board game is. We want to know what your pizza is. So of I course, mean, some of like sometimes they're both made out of cardboard. You know, if you depending on where you. Well, order that's from. not your favorite kind of pizza. No, it's definitely not. <laughs> All right, tell us more about this particular game, right. Randy. Papa Paolo was released in 2016. Uh, it is a worker placement, city building, auction, pick up and deliver, a little bit of a lot of things in it. Mm -hmm. uh, rating on Board Game Geek is 7.0. Rank is 29.55. It's two to four players. Average length of 30 to 75 minutes. This one's interesting. Age is 10 and up on this one. I think this was probably a little more advanced than a 10 year old would typically play. Mm -hmm. we've, we've been getting the other way where we've been getting games that seem pretty easy that are like 14 and up and it seemed like it was ridiculous. This one's the other direction. Now, reading the rules took me, I had to read it several times when we get the rules we'll talk well, about Well we that. assume adults going to teach it and I, then I would say probably it, it probably should it'd be about still 12. Be, yeah it's still probably higher than 10 even uh, then. There's just too many things to have to keep track yeah. of. Like I kept forgetting about um, It's like three four games in one. The and, speedy delivery thing. So. Yeah, it, there's a lot going on in this game. Yeah, so I, 10, I don't think so. Maybe 12? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe 12. Uh, it's designed by Fabrici van den Bogerd. I'm going to go with that. And <laughs> art by David one, Kulkard, uh published by Quined Games. It's out of print currently, but it uh, is available on the geek market on Board Game Geek for $18 to $25. In some cases new, some cases used. That's not bad. It's <laughs> selling on eBay for $135. That's bad. That's what's well, listed for that. I doubt it's selling for right. that. Well, go to your Board Game Geek market. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All right. So let's talk about quality of pieces. So you have um, wooden pizza boxes with stickers. Uh, there are a ton of stickers. By the way, I love your stickering. They're so even and centered. Uh, yeah, well, I, they started out even, and then after about six hours of doing it, I started getting <laughs> a bit frustrated. Uh, well, was, next time you need something like that done, call me to come over because that's the kind of thing I live for. Well, I normally I have to have everything centered, and after, but first of all, it's very hard to do that with these little stickers on these little squares, and it was very annoying. And the fa I was getting more and more frustrated with it as we went because there's 136 pizza boxes you have to sticker on it in addition to all the workers and your first player tokens. So. It just, it, it was, it was way too many stickers and I'm not a big fan of stickers to begin with. Yeah. I have to say though, I really do like the, the pizza boxes are my favorite pieces. Oh yeah. Cause they're tiny and cute and actually look like pizza boxes. So mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I, I, I would like, with you. I would no, like they did. if they were screen printed. Especially <laughs> the white ones. They really do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The white ones looked really cool. Um, and so, I mean, and then you have, yeah, I know they're stickers, but the pieces are actually pretty cool. You got little delivery guys. Mm -hmm. You've got your um, actual cook, your chef. Um, you you know there you have the cardboard tiles. You have the normal player board. You do have cardboard money. I will say this cardboard money is actually a pretty good size. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I don't think it was bad. I do have a complaint on the fact that you have a two and then you have the symbol for the money. The symbol from the money is the same on all the backs. Well, the idea is you can keep your money in. Oh. So you're supposed to flip it upside down so people don't know what denomination you have. Well, all I got to say is I think people put them in the wrong thing. Yeah, that was the problem is that the, the symbol for the lira looks just like the three or very close if you're making a quick glance. Mm -hmm. So they were getting put into the wrong buckets as a result. Right. Well, so long story short, um, maybe something, I don't know. Anyway. Some people may have made us a few extra bucks when they weren't supposed to. Mm -hmm. Well, I double checked, but, um, but yeah, anyway, so, you know, overall the quality pieces, I think this was fine. I, you know, you've got some wood, you got a lot of cardboard. Um, and I, and I think there was some appeal to it. I'm probably seven. 
I'm right there with you. I'm probably 6.5 just because I had to do the stickery. <laughs> well, we I, didn't have to do that, I, so. I, that really cheesed me whenever <laughs> I was doing that. It's a good. It, it's also bad that the football game I was playing really didn't help my <laughs> my scores. So I was watching this crummy football game, watching my fantasy football teams go through the pot while I was stickering really crummy pieces. No, well, they're not crummy pieces. They're just annoying. crummy pieces. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So now we're going to be talking about theme. So you're building pizza places. Yep. Well, you're building a city. Well, you're building a city around pizza. Yeah, well, and of And making course. sure that pizza could be delivered because pizza is the most important thing Yeah, I mean, that's how cities. cities are built. You built the pizza places, then you design the city around the pizza places I for mean, distribution. if you're smart, I feel like that that's what you should do. If, you're, if your cities are around happiness... I feel like and pizza is happiness. <laughs> it takes a little bit of planning, unless you. I guess if you don't plan ahead, there are dead end pieces you can use. But yeah, yeah, no, there's some thought process in that. Yeah. Um, but overall theme, I actually really like this theme. I have. I don't think we've dealt with a lot of pizza di delivery. Pizza no. delivery. <laughs> yeah, I think I this mean... would be our only pizza <laughs> delivery. We know we've, there are other pizza games. There's uh, New York Slice. Is it one? Um, I'm thinking there's another pizza game, but right. we don't have New York Slice. Um, I'm trying to think of, I can't remember, but I, I, this is definitely not the only pizza game. You just, it covers all aspects though, because you've got, you're building your pizzeria, you're yeah. making your pizzas, you're delivering your pizzas. Mm -hmm. So it's all there. You know, it's, it is all there. And I think it's like super cute and super fun because most of the time when you do pick up delivery, I think of like wasteland or manufacturing and I don't know, this is just a little bit different on the theme, and I and I appreciated it. Um, so, score-wise, what are you guys thinking? I'd give it an 8 for a theme, I think. What about you, Ray? Yeah, that's probably where I'm at, is an 8. I think it's it incorporates the, the theme into the gameplay, and, and the all of the different varieties of gameplay in this makes sense with what you're doing. So, yeah. I, you know, I might even go as high as an 8.5. Yeah, I'm down. I, I mean, I think that this is a really good solid theme. Um, I think it's fun. I think it's, I think it's consistent throughout. I think there are mechanics involved with the actual theme, so I, I like all of that. So well, I, the, the only complaint I have about the theme is with the art on the tiles. They're very busy, mm -hmm. and it's very. Some of the colors of the rooftops make it confusing because they, they have the yes. different yellow, blue, red, and green. But then you have kind of an orangish color that could be a yellow. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. It is. Cause because everything we, else is red. Well, not red. Well, because all of the roofs for the houses you don't deliver to are like that terracotta. Yeah. Right, right, right. And so it's it's too similar to that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, and I, I'll be honest with you. So at first, when I was looking at these tiles, I was just being like, okay, what are we supposed to deliver them to? Like, I couldn't understand. And I was mm -hmm. like, I'm placing tiles. But where am I supposed to deliver these pizzas to? And Ray's like talking about spots, and I'm thinking, what the heck is he talking about? Uh -huh. So it that part wasn't very clear. Um, well, and at first I thought a green roof was a lawn, but then I saw the satellite dish and figured out it was a roof. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, some people put their lawn. Some people you know, do, satellite. but it matched the one that's on the um, yeah on the board here. So. Yeah, yeah. So I, no, I I agree with you. It. There was some confusion around it. I yeah. I will openly admit. To I that. think the yellows were the most problematic because they looked there's a, like ones that were kind of yellowish brown and it's like is this the same as a yellow is it not the red ones are pretty rough too yeah yeah i mm -hmm. guess the red could be i just didn't get because there were because there were a lot of terracotta the reds were all yeah. uh, not available to me when i went to try to get them i feel like if the houses you didn't deliver to were gray roofs or something that might have been oh yeah. that would have been helpful yeah I, I i think they they tried to make it too much realistic as an overhead city uh -huh. and less it, it became a problem from gameplay side because it, it's yeah. just busy very busy right and they, these these people have a lot of pools yes yeah <laughs> there were a lot of pools in this city i want to know what city this is and i want to take a vacation <laughs> <laughs> all right um so now let's talk about rule book so the rule book, I love I'm the, glad you had already read yeah, this. I love the cover. <laughs> the rule book is only 12 pages long. And, Not too bad. Uh, the gameplay of it, uh, well, it's, it's pretty much the full book. Um, it is, there's a lot of text in here. Um, it was 
there are several parts I had to read several times to get it just because there's so much going on with this game. It's not that it's any of it's hard. Um, and they have nice pictures, for example, all throughout it. And I like they got little drawings in here from the pizza dude. And for some reason, he's got a f wings. I don't exactly understand what the wings are for. but Well, uh, I mean, they had to go from wings to rocket ships. Yeah. Uh, there, but, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, the gameplay is broken into sections nicely there's there, but it's all two-tone so there's not like where it's color-coded like we've seen in some of the other ones to, to differentiate sections um it, it it's fine it took me a few reads to get it just because it's a little bit complex which is why i don't think a 10 year old this is a good right. good fit well especially when you're explaining the uh the bidding yeah yeah the bidding took me a few tries to get right i'm gonna go with 7.5 on it because it is laid out nicely i love the cover of it um, it's, you know, it is a little, like, they got some, the art as far as the, uh, text on it is a little, it's calligraphic, I guess, but yeah. it's a little hard to read. Uh, but it's not bad. Yeah, so if we're talking about weight, I would probably actually put this at a solid medium. Yeah, it's definitely a medium. I, I, I think that's where this weight is. It's not a light medium. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's firmly in medium. Um, so... All right, now let's actually talk about gameplay. So, oh, first of all, there are no cheat sheets. So negative points on that, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, did not care for that. And there this, isn't. You know what? Though the saddest thing is, this could have really used a cheat yeah. sheet. Yeah, there is no. There really, there's no summary on the back either. It's variant for two players the and three only player. helpful thing is that it tells you you can put two pizzas when you build a yeah pizza. There, there is a little guide over here yeah. it's, for yeah. the symbols uh, for the they, board yeah but it doesn't tell you anything about like turn order or any of that no right? no 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 so i that was something missing in the rule yeah. books that well it's in the rule book it's just not on the cheat sheets there's no well cheat but sheet. we always put cheat sheets with the rule book yeah when we when we score so that was a yeah pretty big miss on and this game would have had been the perfect opportunity to to make use of some really good cheat sheets. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't do that. Um, now, okay, so talking about gameplay. Whew, okay, so we'll start. <laughs> um, so basically, at the beginning of the round, everyone has their four little meeples. I'm just grabbing them randomly. Okay, so um, in turn order, you're going, you are going to place down a meeple on a tile. Now, um, you have a couple of choices. So you, when you pick the tile, you can either pick up the tile or you can go um, down the row to that action. So this particular action is to get gold, or you go down the other way and get that action, which is actually also gold. Um, so depending on when you place it, you have the options of two actions or taking a tile. Now, there's another piece of it too, though, when you're placing. So you're not just choosing whether to get tiles or two actions. You're, well, it's a one action. It's well, it's two, one action, two, but the option of- You have two different between, actions you can choose from. You have three choices. Two of them actions, one is the tile. Um, but the other thing to keep in mind is the people that have the most in a row or column get a money bonus that's shown here at the edges, which they bring from one, two, or three. So when you go to place, you could be like, well, I'm short money, so I'm going to try to put my guys on three, but if I, on a three column, but if I do that, then that might limit me in the tiles I pick or the um, money or the different actions I have access to. So I just have to be kind of aware of, so there's three different things I'm looking at when I'm placing my person. I'm looking at the tile, I'm looking at the money, I'm looking at the actions. And so that's, yeah. it's pretty complicated just to place yeah. that down trying to keep those all and in And if there's a tie in that row or column between two players, then whoever's closest to the coin will get the coin. Right. So there's also that to consider when you're pressing because right. the middle section kind of stinks. Yeah. Right. Well, and that can make it really difficult if it's a four-player game and you're the last person. Yes. Yes, because <laughs> you don't have choices. Yeah, because uh, it is a four-by-four four grid, so all spaces will be occupied. Yeah, so that kind of blows. Now, let's talk about the actions. So um, on your actions, the, the, there are four different actions that you can use. Um, that you have choices of and they're also on your player board and so this is a um development game in the fact that as you develop your player board those actions become a lot more powerful 
Okay, so one of the first one is money. So at the starting, if you have it at a level one, you only get three money when you take that action, which doesn't get you very far, guys. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes all the way up to 13, depending on how far you go up that. So anytime you take the money action, depending on where your level is, you'll get that money that is on your player board. Now, the other one is to go to the grocery store, and that allows you to make the pizza. So you're basically getting the ingredients to make the pizza. Now, um, there is a money exchange for pizza. So you do have to have money to create those pizzas. Um, but as you go up further in the track, you get some freebies. So as long as you purchase one, you get those freebies, which is really kind of nice. Um, and that ranges, starts at zero, moves all the way to four. Now, the next action is um, rocket ship delivery, okay? <laughs> so um, the guy's on a rocket ship. I don't think this is cost effective, but we're going to run with it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be speedy delivery. I don't think you're actually flying in a rocket ship, but you can... You know, <laughs> it's in a rocket works. ship! Well, they got a picture showing it to make it look like he's fast. It's a plane! He's in a plane. Well, it has right. flames coming out, so I'm going to get with you that it's a rocket. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think it's... I think it's like you would paint it on the side of your delivery car. Well, that is not what they got here. Okay, so... But, so anyway, so basically, when you choose this action, you can immediately deliver all across the board. Well, not all across. It's down, down one path, but you can go all the way down the path without having to worry about it's how many sp spaces you're moving. Well, to be honest, it, at the beginning, you can only deliver one pizza. So you may be traveling crazy far away, but it's only one pizza. Yeah. Now, as you get further on, the max is three, so even then, that's not even... Yeah, but the, the right. critical thing is you get to deliver, and then once you deliver, if you fill all the spots on a given tile, you get to level up one of your stats. Right, which and one, this is, yeah. is the only way to level up your stats before you, you go into bedding. Yeah. Well, and the so, other thing that really helped me is I had two tiles with yellow houses right next to each other, and I needed to move my stats up on my money spot. Yep. So I took the speedy delivery action, delivered two down that row, and then when it was my turn to deliver pizzas, I delivered four down the column and got all all of those houses covered. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, yeah, so that worked out really nice. Yes. Um, so definitely, so it does have its place. Like, yeah. at first, and I was like, well, why would you do that? Why not just delivery? No, this really, there was some a lot of value add there. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, but it uh, does cost two coin to do that as well. Yes, it does cost two coin. Now, the other thing is you can buy a, another pizzeria because guess what? The um, grid that you're building is a 5 by 4 grid, and the max movement is like 4 at the end of the game, right? Yeah. So the most you can move is 4 tiles away um, down a path. So guess what? You're going to build a second franchise, guys. So you're going to build a second pizzeria. Now, this second pizzeria doesn't have nearly the storage capacity as your initial one. Oh, it depends. It's two that have four. You start with five on your capacity. Right. It ranges from five all the way down. or Two four, to four. four. Yeah, two to four. So it can yeah. be pretty drastic. So... Um, so just kind of keeping that in mind when you guys um, build that you are going to and eventually have to build. But there's only like uh, there's two, two of the big, the, the fours, three, three of and then the three of each of the others. So there's actually quite not a lot. I only ended up with three on my board, one was starting. I think that's pretty much where everyone was at. So yeah. you're basically going to get two, um, maybe three. All right. Uh, but when you do build your pizzeria, two fresh pizzas are already there. So that's kind of... Yeah, nice. I, I don't want to know what they're made out of, but yeah, there's two pizzas waiting for you. Now, I <laughs> will say the there were times when you couldn't build pizzas that we ended up building a pizzeria just so we would have pizzas. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, because, well, people take your spots. And um, so that being said, so now once all the workers are placed, then you decide who gets the money. So you go um, by column and by row, whoever has the majority or... And if there's a tie going to the closest to the actual coin, um, you do all of those, um, then people get their money. And then... That's the first half of a turn. That's yeah. the first half. Then you go into the bidding war. So the first player chooses where they want to bid. Now, there's a couple of things with this bidding system that makes it a little more complicated. 
So not only are you bidding on a, so you, you bid on a column and a row. So your lowest row is the cheapest option. Um, so, but the different columns hold a different reward, specifically with how many spaces you can deliver to and how many total pizzas you can, you can also deliver. Yes. Um, so there's a little combination there. All right. So um, now the other piece of it, too, is there are rewards um, that you get to choose based on. It's not how much money you pay. It's how much further up on the column you are. So um, if you're looking at the board, this column is the cheapest column. Over here is the more expensive column. But um, each has different price points. So. For example, in this particular case, the person who gets to trigger their first is actually purple in this row because it's on the higher um, that, row. That burned me badly. Yes, it did. I appreciate it. So, um, so if purple is the highest row, so I get to take my action first, I get to take my delivery token for that round, and then I get to choose between one of the action tiles. Now, when I choose this action tile, um, between yellow, blue, red, and green. I can either choose to take the action that it represents, which is what we discussed in the first part of that round, or I can choose to upgrade that ability. Now, most of the time, I use it as a chance for a free upgrade. I don't know what about yeah, you guys. Most of the I time. Too. Yeah. yeah. Now, there was two, two times I actually had to buy pizzas with them because people kept stealing the build pizza areas. <laughs> Because they were out to get me. I purchased it outright. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went broke the first turn buying mine, and I had to use the token to get money because I was desperate for it because I, you guys took all the spots where I got no money whatsoever mm -hmm. as a bonus at the end. I know. It was beautiful. <laughs> wow. All right. So, um, so, but then the next player goes. Now, in this particular case, both people are tied in the same column, so you'll go to the most expensive column, and then white will take their turn, orange will take theirs, and then brown will take theirs. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, then, so then at that point, everyone chooses whether they're going to take the action or the upgrade in their ability. And then after that, then you deliver pizzas. Okay, so if you look at your delivery token here, um, down here in the corner, there is a road with a number. So that's how many total movement that you can deliver okay so that's very that's very very important total movement the other is how many pizzas you can deliver now so if i can move two and i have three but i have multiple pizzerias how does that work so you start out only being able to choose one path that you are going to trigger delivery for so you're going to pick a path and you're going to deliver um, in this case, I can move up to two and place three pizzas. So um, you can use basically go through two tiles and deliver at those two tiles. Um, now, um, it doesn't the movement doesn't matter if the tile's already filled; it still counts as a movement. Yeah. You still have to travel through the city, even though that tile has been completed. Okay, so just kind of a reminder there. Now. As you develop the green tile action, you end up being able to choose more paths. So um, max of four, um, honestly, I think the sweet spot was two. I didn't really ever use three. Two was kind of where it was at. Um, that you get to pick two paths or three paths or four paths. So, but you still only have the max movement of what's in this corner, which the most was ever four. Um, so... You know, that's what I was kind of saying. But you can take, then you could go from different pizzerias or down different paths. And so that was definitely helpful. You needed two. Two was, one was very restricted. Two was very, very helpful um, with that. Uh, and then after you do your delivery, if you completed a tile with your delivery, it then triggers an upgrade for whatever color tile that was. And again, we talked about it, that being those roofs. Um, the colored roofs that are in there, which they're kind of a little bit hard, hard to decipher. But I think once you kind of get an idea of what they look like, you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, end of game is after five, five rounds. rounds. Um, and scoring, you get one victory point per pizza box you deliver. 
You get negative one victory point for every pizza that you make but don't deliver. And then you also get victory points for leftover money. And then. No, not leftover money. Leftover money is a tiebreaker. Oh. Uh, then you just get it for how far in advancements that you got on your player board. Um, is that a. That's that's a yeah, whichever well, one is. Two, two forms. There's the lowest, the whatever your lowest leveled up rank is, you get the points for that. Yes. And then. If you reach the end point for any of the tracks, you get two points bonus for each track. Mm -hmm. Yep, I was so close. <laughs> um, all right, so that's pretty much the game. This game's a little bit, there's a lot to it. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Um, there are a lot of moving pieces. He was explaining the rules. I was like, I'm just going to play this. Uh, he's saying words. I didn't understand yeah. it. Hopefully you're a little bit better than I was. <laughs> Um, because the first round I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Second round I was like, oh, I screwed up the first round. Um, mostly I followed it, but even when I do, I still have to play through a round to fully understand everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, definitely didn't get the strategy until about the second or third round. I was like, oh, now I see what I'm doing. Yes, yes. It, there was an aha moment of, Oh. <laughs> because everything does affect everything else it's mm -hmm. you know there's no sense in me trying to get money here if i can get money by placing it or right. placing more of them and then i also need the road you know mm -hmm. so take the road and just make sure you place close to where yeah the money yeah. is so because the roads will provide you the rooftops you need to deliver your yeah. pizzas to so, yeah, no, so there's a combination. There's so many things you got to keep track of. You got to have, because, like, originally I was going for tiles that had less roofs that were required because in that case I completed it faster, which advanced my board faster. Mm -hmm. But the caveat with that is you only get a victory point per pizza. So if you've only got one tile or one roof on that, that's only one victory point. So, right. yeah, you got an advancement. But it's only one, and you still had to use a delivery for it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you only have so many pizzas you can deliver anyway. So right. there's this balancing act of, okay, do I go for the four victory point, knowing that it's going to cost me more to be able to do that? Right. Or do I go after some lower levels to increase my board faster? And I think there's a mixture of the two, right? Well, and the other yeah. thing that affects that is the pizzeria. So if your pizzeria can only produce two pizzas... You don't want to have a whole street with three houses per tile. No, you right. want those to be closer to a pizzeria that can deliver four or five pizzas. Mm -hmm. so. Correct. Absolutely. You're, you're spot on. Um, like, I had two that were three, so I, for me, most of them were three. I just made sure I didn't grab any fours, mm -hmm. and I was okay. I, yeah. Were there any fours? I didn't I don't, see I didn't any. I think see three any. was the highest. I think three was the highest. Okay. I think maybe. Yeah, I think it went one, two, and three. Right, so that kind of worked out again. Um, so we really didn't face that issue. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's the game. Let's talk about scoring, guys. What's our thoughts on the score? I was pleasantly surprised because, I, I mean, these coined games, they're supposed to be like deluxe, you know, but they're supposed to be better or better games that they've done the deluxe buying for. And I, I've been in the past not impressed with some of them. This one reminded me, it had aspects of pipeline, which I like, where you're building out your area. I do. Uh, it, I was a little concerned, because it. The, I know you don't like auction games, and it has the bidding and auction, but it really wasn't it a wasn't standard bad. auction. I no, mean, this was fine. Uh, and I, I, I like the way the tile plate, you know, picking your tiles work. I, I, I'm kind of a little disappointed it's 4 by 4 grid, but it makes it super tight. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, just trying to figure out when do I want to be first, when do I want to be last was very important in this game. Mm -hmm. There weren't any decisions that felt like it didn't matter. Everything um, mattered. Yeah. Yeah. And anytime you didn't think about doing something, you realize you messed up. I'm oh, like, oh crap, I just mm -hmm. shouldn't have done mm -hmm. that. Um, and uh, you have to basically think two or three steps ahead of where gameplay is to yeah. be able to maximize it. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it has so many mechanics in it. I mean, it doesn't have like deck building, but apart from that, it's got so <laughs> right. much. We'll still all the Well, you things. only have four workers, guys, and you're trying to do all this stuff. Like, you got to realize, I mean, getting pizzas, getting places to deliver the pizzas to with the tiles, right? And then having enough money to be able to bid, to be able to even to be able to deliver the pizzas. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's three things right there that you have to do every round. 
you only have four action. Well, no, four is when you pick up the tile. Like, holy moly, like, you're tight. They're, you're tight. Um, so it's, like you said, you have to know, I have four workers. What do I do with those four workers this round? Yeah. And a um, little bit of a brain bear. I mean, it's not, hor- like, it's not, not, it's not near, like, like, gallerist or um, auto, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Uh, nothing Come like on. that, but it's a solid medium weight game. Don't, you know, it's a solid medium game. Yeah. There is some thought to it. There is a mm-hmm. lot of strategy to it. Um, don't just dismiss it because it's yeah. about delivering pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, that is the theme, but I would definitely not say this is a game about delivering pizzas if I were describing it to somebody. I'd say this is a strategy game, <laughs> a multi layered strategy game. <laughs> So, give it a number. I am probably going to give this an 8. I think it, it, there's a lot of mechanics in it I really enjoy. Uh, I think it's got a, a lot of, of I, I mean, I don't think there's growth to it. Everything's in the game. There's not any expansions or add-ons. But I, I, I know I didn't play this optimally. And I'm going to play it again to try to mm-hmm. get, you know. Wait, wait, wait. We'll be able to play it again? Like, what's your timeline on that? I know, right? <laughs> like, Depends. Are we talking get, three months, six months? We can't suspend months. doing reviews to play the games, but yes. Yeah, so, so what you're saying is sometime soon you're going to have a game day where we're going to play multiple games. We're doing that Saturday, so. There we go. Yeah. Let's play it Saturday. Down. Robert hasn't played, has he? No. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Sold. All right, um, so you gave it a... Eight. What are you giving it? I'd also give it an eight. I really liked it. I liked... Strategy games are one of the things that I enjoy. Yeah. No, this one was definitely a pleasant surprise for mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Like, when Randy was telling about, like, when he, oh, it's a pizza delivery game. I'm like, oh, cute theme. Okay, let's see what it got. Right. And I'm like, oh, there's some meat. Why, hello. How are you? Exactly. So, it was very much a it was pleasant surprise. a meat lover's surprise. pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, I agree with you. An eight. Um, it, it was a good, solid game. I really, mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm really excited if we could play it again. So I'm down. Let's do it. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We actually had a really great time tonight. Um, Hopefully you'll come and hang out with us again. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.